I love that sparkle sound effect. That's my favorite sound effect. Minus the, um, minus the sound effect that plays when it says free time and select someone. The that's, yeah. that's my other favorite one. It's like a zero estate sound effect. It almost. reminds me of, oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to say this. This is going to set off so many things, but it reminds me of the synth that plays every, like, every, I want to say eight beats. And at the very end of DJ God Has Fallen In Love, it goes, <laughs> <laughs> It I'm dead fucking serious. I'm dead serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm sorry. I just didn't think I'd ever hear DJ fall in love ever, like, in a million years again. I'm, I'm, hear I'm hearing it in my head, brother. Yeah, I thought that was a lost relic from the time of all Bitch ass. But have you ever thought of... Uh, not DJ Fall, it's fucking Tonight's Gonna Be a Good Night by the Black Eyed Peas. I love that song! Dude, I fucking, like, I remember back in, like, the, the early days of me, just fucking at summer camp. 2012 vibes. Oh my god, 2012. Yeah, pretty much. And I, I was in, like, summer camp for most of that shit, and oh my god, that got played every time there was, like, a big event. Black Eyed Peas, 2000 kids, same fucking thing. <laughs> um, it's the anthem of the 2000s kids. Yeah, I remember when I was in I was in middle school in sixth grade when Party Rock Anthem came out. Oh my god! And oh my god, I heard that song so fucking much at gym class. It was just like, oh my god. <laughs> I feel, can I just say, the 2000s were just like a generational anomaly. Like, nothing, honestly, like the music, nothing is the same. No, There's it's not. There's going to be nothing like the early 2000s ever again. Like the, the feeling you can't capture. Lady it's Gaga, music, Rihanna, like Beyonce. And it did. There's a few that can imitate it, but there's no recreating the original. Beast Hunter! What? What? What did Tex say? I said Beast Hunter. You guys didn't listen to Beast Hunter when you were walking around on YouTube looking at Webkin's music videos? <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I know. Or more actually it was more so in Neopets music videos. What the fuck am I talking about? It was it was mostly called Penguin from what I remember. I did fucking everything. It I did Webkins, Neopets, fuck and then I played the fucking <laughs> zero zero nine you know Oh my exactly. god, not set not soundscape. Oh my god, sound zero zero nine soundscape. I remember that. That's the YouTube national anthem. I some people still use that ironically, and it's fucking hilarious every time they yeah, do. Yeah, it gets me every time. I crack up so much. I can never expect it. I never fucking expect it. <laughs> and then you hear the. <laughs> it just hits you. It just fucking hits you, and everything comes back. It's like PTSD. It's Wait like a, a minute. Wait a minute. I remember. Like did a memory almost. I remember that there was a particular genre that was very popular in the early to and late 2000- in the 2000s, sort of internet era. It was called Bubblegum Pop. I- I researched this shit! I actually researched this. Oh no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. It was terrible. It was so shit. It was great, I loved it. <laughs> There's this one fucking song that, um... I remember um, back in the day where people would unironically listen to Evanescence. Oh my god, you're right. 
I was one of those. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Oh my god! Dude! Dude! Holy shit! Paralyzer by Finger Eleven! I want to say that now people I can remember the rhythm. Yeah. And then so bodies by drowning wrong. pool. Can I say? I, I, I actually, I, I, I fucking know that one too. Can I finish my thought, please? Yes. Okay. When the the, the when the soundscape shit started coming back, it then died again, and now now Paralyzer is starting to replace the soundscape memes. Is it? It's, yeah, it's the exact same thing that's happened. It's just happening again with a different song. Because it's like, just like, fast forward a few years later. Oh my god. I remember, holy shit, I remember this video of, like, someone was playing Zoo Tycoon and they were having a bear race. And they just put the bears in the cages and built a track to see which one would get to the shelter first. And while the bears were walking super slowly, um... A song by... Oh my god, what the fuck was it called? System of a Down was playing. And the song was... Oh my god. What the fuck was the song called? I, I had this song... BYOB! That's what it was. That was a song that was playing. Yo. Yo, oh wait, God. can I just say, about thing, about Finger Eleven and fucking Paralyzed, can I just fucking say, I remember that song so fondly because I used to be a huge fan of, like, the Left 4 Dead series, and every, like, intense moment or, like, gameplay montage always had that song in it. Every single one of them. I mean, I, I can pull up fucking reference. I can pull up legit evidence of this if I need to. The, the, the YouTube account that I use is my old one from like 2010. So I have all of those videos still. You know what my, ab like. my absolute favorite thing that ever happens on the internet is when you find when something gets auto recommended to you and you think it's a new shit post and then it turns out it's something from 2009 yes that completely predicted modern humor yes um that. oh my god those so kids much. those those kids in um the high school bathroom singing for the longest time by billy joel that's one of them Ryu Hiko is experiencing the same. Dude, you're the same. Why the fuck aren't you stopping it? <laughs> yeah, I'll stop it, and he pulls out a hammer. <laughs> and he's like, back away, I know exactly what to do, I'm a professional. <laughs> but, um, what the hell was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Ryu Hiko is currently experiencing what I once experienced with the Spongebob alarm clock. <laughs> 